Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about what are web components and how they benefit us. And now we're going to start developing our web components. We will go ahead and build the feature of the uh, filters uh, for the search page. So the first thing we'll do is we'll install the Zustand. So the first thing we'll do is we'll do npm outdated. This will go ahead and give us all of the outdated packages. And then we'll say npm update. Okay, so now we install Zustand. So let's do that. npm install Zustand installed. You'll see that under dependency, you'll see Zustand. Okay, and then we'll go to source and then we'll go to JS. And under JS, we'll create a directory called search. And then inside of search, we'll create index.js. And then we're going to create a JavaScript file called search.js. And we'll just import the search index file here. We'll also create another file called zustand zustand.js and inside of this we'll import persist from zustand middleware and we'll also go ahead and import the create function from zustand vanilla and then we'll create a constant called stores so this is where we put all of the stores and we say zustand equals persist create and then stores and we'll just say window.zustand equals zustand so that our Zustand object is available in Windows and then we can pull it into any of the components that we'll work on. Then inside of the webpack config, we'll add another file. So all this file, we had this author, blocks, editor, all of these files here. We'll add another file in the entry and we'll call it search. So it will be giving us the path up until, path up until the JS directory and then we'll just say search.js. So uh, this can be available under entry for bundling. Just put a comma here. And then we go to our class assets. So we'll go to includes classes assets because we need to include this file. So we'll go to register scripts. Okay, so now let's enqueue the JavaScript. So you're gonna say search hyphen JS will be handled. This will be the path up until the JS build directory. And inside of this, once we run the npm run dev or npm run build, is going to create a file over here called search.js and uh, that's what we want to basically use and the dependency is main.js so this file is going to load after main.js and this will be the version number of the file and this will be in the footer okay and i will just say wp nq script search hyphen js uh, but we'll have to do that only on the search page so what we'll do is we'll add a condition over here we're saying that if it's a search page, okay? So if the page contains the slug as search, then we go ahead and enqueue the script. And we're also going to basically use WP localized script to create an object called search settings, which will be available where our search hyphen JS, which is search.js file is included. And we're going to pass all of this information, which is the REST API URL, uh, where we'll be able to access uh, the data for the post, depending on what filters user has selected. And this will be the URL of that. So just to ensure you have the plugin called Aquila features already active. Uh, it's already available on the GitHub called Aquila hyphen features, which is this one. This already contains the endpoint required for you to fetch the data. So, and we'll also add root URL, and then we'll also add the filters data, which we will create in a moment. So for now, I'll just comment it out. Okay, and um, this all of this information uh, will be available under search settings object to this file, the search.js. Okay, we'll also include the style file. So what we will do is we will go ahead and go to SAS directory, and then inside of here, we'll say search, we'll say search dot scss <coughs> we'll say search dot scss this will be our css file and we're going to include that inside of the class assets so we'll just say where we have the register style 
we'll go over here and just beneath this we'll put search hyphen CSS Equila build CSS URL search dot CSS so this will be picked up from here and then doesn't have any dependency uh, this will be the version of the file and media all and then we'll just end it here but we want to end it only on the search page okay so now that we have that uh, we'll go back to our search.js and we'll also ensure to import the sas file so we'll say import sas search.css okay and then if i run npm run dev there's some error that we are getting saying node sas version 7.0.3 is inco incompatible with 4.0 so let's fix that we have this thing here so we'll just say npm install uninstall node sas let's do that and then we'll install the node sas install sas let's install sas and then do npm run dev let's see what that let's see what happens okay working well great excellent so now if i go to build we have the search.css we have inside of the css directory and inside of build under js we have the search.js so that's great now we need to create a template um, for our search page so what we'll do is we'll create a page called okay, let me just minimize all of this we'll create a page under the root directory and we'll call it page hyphen search so in wordpress if you create a page with page hyphen whatever that slug is in this case search uh, we'll have the page available at slash search so let's do that and then I'm just going to copy this from the github so to save time so that we don't have to write the whole content okay so and I'll explain to you what happens here so we have a get header we have a page template uh, search over here okay and then we have the get header so we'll get the header for us at the bottom we have the get footer which will get the footer for us and we need the filters data basically so before i go ahead and explain to you what's happening here we need the filters data so we should basically be able to fetch the categories and tags and render them dynamically so user can select those filters and then fetch the posts accordingly so we have to create this function so let's do that so we'll go to helpers includes helpers and inside of helpers we have template we have template tags so under this template tags we'll create a couple of functions so these are the two functions we need to create uh, i'm just going to copy them quickly and then i'll explain to you what's happening there okay so i pasted that there and i'll explain to you okay so the first function is get hierarchical terms the job of this is to basically get the hierarchical terms uh, using taxonomy and the parent id uh, the query arguments are post type um, post status fields post per page no round no found rows etc and you pass this okay and then you get the terms basis the taxonomy so you add the parent item parent terms in that and then in case if it's not an error then you set the value to be equal to terms then we loop through each of the term then we loop through the terms and we add the text query then we run the wp query and it says post with the term okay so we basically get the post with those terms that have been included okay and then we have the term data where we have the label value slug we have the term children and then loop through the children and then keep adding the tax query and then we have the term child data and the grandchildren and so on and so forth okay so they're basically just looping through all of the terms uh, parent child uh, grandchild etc and just building the data for uh, these terms okay so eventually uh, we go up until great grandchildren you could also use recursion i haven't used that here for uh, for now but you could also use recursion so this is going to basically build the data for you and give you that data in form of items okay and then so you basically get all of the terms which is basically uh, for the category and the tags so if you go to the back end 
you have under posts you have categories so we want all of the categories including their children grandchildren and great grandchildren and then you also get it for tags so we want all of the tags and their children and grandchildren if they exist and then we just return this in form of an object so now we have that function available if you go to our page search and if you just do a print of that filters data and if you go to the front end on the search page you'll see that we have all of the categories being listed so you have got label slug children and children's children right so you've got all of the information so the label the value which is the id the slug etc so this just keeps going depending on how many categories and tags you have so these are one these are the ones for tags and the top one is for category so that's the data we're trying to get using this function it's very simple to understand so you can go through these functions as i've already explained to you just briefly as to what's going on there and this is the shape in which we are getting the as we have label categories we have the slug we have the children okay similarly for children we just it just keeps going deep and deep up until great grandchildren's children Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll continue further building this search page, right? So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.